The major challenge currently that the hurricane has put upon us is getting our folks here and housing. We don't have, we lost so much in the way of housing. There's a, a surprising amount of emotional strain. Uh, that's, I didn't expect that. As a licensed professional, I knew there was something I can do. I think the winds, well, they picked up the corner and just took it. Architects know how buildings go together. Every day we work on designs that not only look at the design of the structure, but it incorporates many other systems. And this, I think, ideally suits the architect to participate in the rapid assessments. Uh, building safety assessment is a process by which we quickly go around and you evaluate a structure or building, or homes or businesses, to, to determine safety for occupancy or for entry at all. Building officials and cities and counties, this is invaluable information that they can use not only to allow for money to flow in from state and federal sources, but also for post planning. We have two code enforcement people on staff. Uh, we didn't have the manpower to get after this. The architects that came into our community to do assessment provided an invaluable service. Arriving back to the house and seeing that someone had looked at it and put the sticker on my home gave me assurance that eyes had been on it and the process was moving forward. I think one of the biggest things we can learn from this experience is to be ready before the storm ever hits. You need to have a plan of action, a method or procedure to, to get deployed, and I think those need to be in place prior to the storm. You really need to have a, a skilled and ready volunteer force on the go at any time, and you need to have the relationships in place between the state and the local communities to be able to know where the greatest need is and how you can get people there. We need to look at plussing up our building codes, making sure that we do things correct because we, you never know when the next storm is coming, but there's one out there.